Alright guys, it is a dark, stormy day. In the collapse of everything in the end times. We've done that one in Florida here on uh, whatever it is, Wednesday, March 27, 2024. So, uh, I was hoping that Andy the gardener would weigh in about the, uh, the ship ramming that bridge. Uh, <laughs> haven't heard much from Andy in a while. I knew there was no way that Andy the gardener uh, from Zombie Island uh, could let that, <laughs> let that pass without a, uh, without a comment. So this is Andy the gardener's view from Zombie Island on the uh, infamous ship collapse on the <laughs> in Baltimore yesterday. Take it away Andy. That story made my year. There are several billion ways in which it could have been improved upon. Say if the bridge was a million times longer and most humans had all inexplicably decided to cross the river at the wrong time. But it was great. Not only as karma and as a metaphor of burning our bridges or whatever and an illustration of the speed of collapse, but the aesthetic itself. The aesthetic itself has a certain Planet of the Apes style picturesque charm. A mangled bridge in a river is like having a snapshot of the future when every structure has collapsed and turned into its true and most lasting form. A mangled skeleton Yes, an illustration of the true worth of humans. To be honest, it was always going to happen one way or another. Build stuff over a river, it will, it will fall into the river. It's inevitable. It's just a matter of time. Each collapsed bridge, tall building, or motorway flyover will become part of the unchanging scenery of an area to be enjoyed by generations of powerless future humans sitting where gravity has left them for hundreds or even thousands of years as they slowly decay back into the Earth's crust. There is plenty of time for all of that, but for now, the mega cancer will spring into action and mindlessly and automatically repair itself, dissipating the energy that will make future repairs impossible. Yes, I agree. That, that story really did make my year. You know, I am sorry about those six guys uh, who died. That uh, What they were doing, you know, as if we needed another layer of irony. Uh, I mean, I still haven't gotten to the layers. Now, of course, Andy is from... Uh, from uh, England, so he is missing. A Andy, you do realize the bridge was named after the man who uh, <laughs> who wrote the uh, America's national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. I mean, this, but uh, the, 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 <laughs> yet, yet another layer of irony. What these, I guess there were eight uh, uh, of these guys, I uh, don't know if they were immigrants or not. I, 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 there's some sort of right-wing conspiracy 
that this had to do, uh, this bridge collapse had to do with Joe Biden's, uh, Joe Biden's uh, failed immigration policy. Not sure if the eight guys were immigrants or not, but what they were doing when the, when the uh, ship hit them and killed six of them, they were patching potholes in, in the bridge. They were out there, you, you know, with shovels, patching potholes, trying to put little band-aids uh, over this bridge uh, to, I, I guess, to keep it uh, from falling in the water or whatever. So, uh, you know, being at, when this is like two o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, imagine being, being so desperate with your life that at two o'clock in the morning, you're out patching potholes on the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, and you get killed by a cargo ship from Asia while you're patching potholes in, in, in a bridge na named after the, uh, the author of the Star Spangled Banner. I'm, I'm sorry guys, sorry those six folks are dead, but it's a funny fucking story. Okay, this is Doomer Humor on steroids. Uh, I, 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 I wish every fucking bridge on this planet would get smashed by a cargo ship today. I wish uh, every bridge would get knocked down by a cargo ship. Of course, the only thing missing in the story is it didn't sink the fucking ship. And, uh... So uh, that is the, the only way this story could have been improved was if the cargo ship had gone to the bottom of the ocean. Although I think if I, if I understand correctly, there's so many rumors that I'm, I'm, I'm guessing most of these cargo containers were empty because they, they had dropped off the cargo and since I'm pretty sure that Baltimore, Maryland is not shipping anything to Asia, that it's all the other way around. Uh, there wouldn't have been much lost anyway. But anyway, thank you Andy the Gardener for that view from Zombie Island as the thunderstorm rolls in over the end times. Bye guys.